I'm oh, sorry. Most be. We got to sit on the couch. I'm it's sorry. our job. <laughs> when you pay for the couch, you can have it. How about that, mister? Oh, you sweet, sweet, sweet tint. Okay. Just show the internet what you're working with. <laughs> You like this? This is only Mosby. Mm-hmm. Right? Can I tell you, Teddy? Uh huh. I, 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 I really am starting to fucking love that dog. Oh, I'd hope you so. You know, you know, with puppies. It's, it's like a, it's a roller coaster. It is a roller coaster because you love them and then you get home and you're like, this is. You're hot, then you're cold. Yes. You're yes, then you're don't eat that. Don't fucking piss on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Well, uh, he's just, you know, he's, he's a puppy, but he's so fucking funny mm-hmm. and he's so smart i've been because i've been cooped up the old pneumonia and mm-hmm. whatnot um i've been training him he's so good he's already figured out like sit come stay i'm like <laughs> i love this sorry i'm a child i know when i say teddy come Corey's like stop telling him <laughs> teddy come teddy come <laughs> but sorry. he'll sit in his little bed that he has and he sits like like he sits <laughs> like that he man spread yes i love that i'll come in and he's like laid back and i'm like why are you sitting like that it's fucking funny i love his energy he's he's very funny Mm. they said that those kind of dogs are goofy and he Mm -hmm. is fucking goofy i love a goof me too he's he's kind of sometimes it's like hey we're not trying to play right now like the one time I was walking through the yard and he, I literally like put my foot up to itch my foot and he grabbed my slipper and took off. <laughs> I was like, no. Oh, that's birdie. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's just goofy. Which that reminds goofy me, I have boy. no idea where she is Uh-oh. right now. Oh. <laughs> we got a doggy door, like I said last week. And yeah. so she very well could have let herself outside. Could but just be out there. I don't know. Well, definitely here. <laughs> um, she also might be sleeping. She takes herself to bed all the time. Yeah. And she sleeps hard when she does. Mm, mm-hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. How are we doing? D- did I tell you that before I came I was like I got to finish my hair. I was definitely cutting my bangs. <laughs> <gasps> I cut my hair today too. Yeah. I gave myself some little bangs. They're cute. Yeah. yeah. I definitely didn't do it right and it doesn't look great, but like it when it's fine. up it looks fine and when it's down it looks fine, so I'm like, well then where, when does it not look fine? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay i just don't think i didn't watch anything well i just took the scissors and went like this and then did a few snips and then i took the scissors and went i used my dog's grooming scissors right that seems fair they were i mean they worked well you are an international listen mystery right now (laughs) america's woman american woman american woman was your appendix stunned to find after recent ER trip to find appendix missing? First of all, the you drama. Guys. Sierra was in the Daily Mail. Everybody, oh my god! And people, if you like, type in Daily Mail Sierra Heron, you will find <laughs> so many selfies of her in this article. I'm so embarrassed about her missing appendix. Listen, here's the thing, too. The, I'm. I was obviously joking. Like uh, the majority of it was to be funny. I was trying to yes. tell a funny story. You were so telling much a of, true story, but in, in a funny a, way. Yes. So did theatrical. My, so did my conversation with the doctor go exactly like that? No, it I didn't? was definitely paraphrasing. I mean, he wasn't like so like oh. nonchalant and not oh, give oh, a oh, fuck oh. about it. I thought and, you were gonna say like, no, he act. We did find my appendix. I just <laughs> lied about. No, it. no, no. That part it was. He, basically everything he said he said but not in like the blase way that yes. I I was trying to make the story better yes but like the way that they wrote it first of all there were so many times in it that it was like Sierra Heron terrified about missing appendix <laughs> I was like I never fucking said that <laughs> yeah. first if of anything all, we dramatized our feelings about it for like comedy. to be funny yeah. and again it just reminded me of like if somebody would go to a stand up comedy show and then mm. write and be like Kevin Hart told teacher she ain't have no nipples. <laughs> teacher left stunned to find she, she in has... fact had no nipples. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. Like that's what it made oh me feel. Oh my god, like. Birdie! Hey, there she is. <laughs> she, and she's gone. I just saw something move out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, "Ghost!" But then it was Birdie. Nope, it was her. Um, but yeah, so that was that was something that I never thought. And then I did something stupid, oh, no. which was read the comments on it. You did? I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, no. Because, again, they wrote it in a way that people who didn't know would think, like, what a dumb idiot. And then they sure said that. 
oh <laughs> no <laughs> we're like someone this is actually really funny someone was like i don't think her appendix was the only organ that's missing <laughs> Are they insinuating your brain? <laughs> yes. If I only... Excuse me, dog. Our br- uh, hey, joke's on you, fucker. Brains are muscles, not an organ. Yeah, you stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. But, um, yeah. So, so yeah. We went a little viral on TikTok. Didn't expect I that. I thought it was hysterical <laughs> looking at the article because they had so many photos of you. <laughs> And the chin photos of you. They had one photo of me. Oh, did you. they just from the Yeah, just from the <laughs> Moment House show. But Shane's like, Did they talk about you? And I'm like, why would they talk about me? My appendix wasn't missing. And I said they they referenced me one time as like her co host. And I w- couldn't have been happier that the time we were in an article like that, I was just kind of like a side I, I was a background was character. So I've mad. never been happier to be a background character. Someone else in a comment, because again, I was just reading comments. <laughs> was like, is this what we consider news now? Uh, a, a, like something, a nonsense story about a disinteresting podcast. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, man, we didn't ask to be yeah. like, if anything, I we didn't I'm request to as, be news. I'm just as shocked that it was news as you are. Okay? <laughs> because it was supposed to be a fucking joke. Disinteresting. I know. I was like, you obviously don't listen. And they Dis- were from pussy interesting. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> ah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Disappendix is not there. So Disappendix what? missing. <laughs> but I do have to update because people are like, where is it? And so I want to. Oh, we did yeah. get a lot of people. Science. Um, so smart. First of all, number one, people were like, um, I highly thought it was on an ultrasound. It was <laughs> definitely the CT scan. Hey, I was on morphine <laughs> when they gave me the news. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky I fucking remember what my either accuracy. one of them were called. <laughs> you knew what I meant, but maybe mm-hmm. you didn't, I guess. I don't fucking know. But yeah, it was probably the CT scan. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> 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 two again not the important part no two um okay so we got a lot of interesting information so it could be a couple things number yeah. one my appendix could be so huge and ready to burst <laughs> at any minute that it's it's so big that it didn't show up right. that's scary two i could have been born without it one in one hundred thousand people apparently learn that from the article <laughs> yes because they had like a it. scientist that was like hey you stupid dumb idiot girl <laughs> that's not what they said no they didn't the comments that's how did. sierra reads it though the comments did <laughs> <laughs> The one was like, I can't believe people are born this moronic. And I was like, hey, I'm funny, though. <laughs> I mean, I might be stupid, but I am funny. Okay, the video wasn't even in the article. That's what, that's what made me so mad, because then when you read it, yes, it sounds so much more dramatic. <laughs> it does. It sounds, it sounds it like sounds a lot. It so dramatic. Yeah, you sound genuinely concerned. I know, and I wasn't. It was... Joke. They they shared pictures of you like you went missing on holiday with your friends. <laughs> Like, without a trace fuck? it's happening <laughs> it was so weird also they yeah. didn't ask for my permission to use those pictures i'm offended well they asked for the permission for the video that's fine but, but i think not, because they you, went on oh, it's public it is public damn it's what i get that's what i fucking get it is what you get um they also said that it could be hidden yes and that a lot of times when women give birth our organs move around uh, so I it read could that be, too. It, uh, your appendix apparently is like the size of a finger. I did not know it was that small. Mm. I will say the good thing about going viral on something like that, I learned so much. Yeah. There were so many little, and people for the most part were so nice mm-hmm. and so concerned about you. Me? Because they were like, she has pneumonia and she's giving it to her friend. <laughs> <laughs> no. Her friend's going to have pneumonia. As if that wouldn't be the first fucking thing I asked. I know. As if I have a baby at home. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be like, hey. That's what she said to me. She goes, no offense, but I have a baby at home. So I didn't really ask about you, but I, I did ask like, if I could be around people. Am I contagious? Because I, you know, I'm going to be yeah. around people. Yeah. But anyways, it was just, yeah. A lot of people were super, super nice. A lot of people giving credit where credit's due on women being tough ass bitches because i feel like we we're tough ass bitches Mm -hmm. and that's kind of a problem because like i said i didn't go into labor both times i was over six centimeters when i went to the hospital because i just didn't know that i was having contractions Mm -hmm. and then this i go in and they're like you got so many fucking things wrong with you (laughs) i didn't realize um what else what else there was something else i was gonna say well i was gonna say i think that what people don't understand is that 
when when people go viral that way, you're not the only person who had that experience yeah, and yeah. had it kind of unexplained. And that's all I was saying was like, yeah. I was just surprised, which, sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you off fine. again, but like super, I understand, by the way, it was an emergency room doctor. People were like, get a new doctor. I was like, I didn't have a choice. But <laughs> um, I get that they're like so fucking busy right now. And so they don't really have time to explain. But like when you're getting five minutes worth of information and it's like those three things. And you're high. It's very jarring. <laughs> yeah. And I was alone. So like I didn't even have someone to sit next to me and like process the information mm-hmm. with me. And then the nurses were so ready to discharge me and get a new bed that like they didn't sit and talk with me about right. it. So like nobody fully explained it. And again, I'm not saying anything. The doctor, I feel so fucking bad because people... He was so nice. He was so nice. Were and they he, saying mean things about the doctor? They were just like that he was incompetent, which he wasn't. It oh. was just he was busy. It's an emergency room well, in America right now. He's yeah. busy. Yeah. And like it was kind of on me for not knowing more about the appendix. Well, I was going to say if it wasn't a concern, he did. His, he That's did, what it was. And you didn't ask. Exactly. And I, d- I should probably should have. But again. Yeah morphine <laughs> so what well, can we do and that's what i was going to say is like it, these things happen to people all the time but they don't have anyone to talk to about it exactly and it makes them feel stupid because they don't understand I, and that's why we like to do talk about this stuff yeah. like i told sierra i said thank god it was you and your appendix not me and my tampon <laughs> <Because> <laughs> it was national news it international might, news it could have been my tamp my tampon story it happens to everyone yeah oh my god I was getting out of Shane's truck today. <laughs> and you found another one? After I took <laughs> another tampon. It's been up there for two years. No, two I years. I had taken um, my nephew to the doctor. Yeah. And anyway, so when I got back uh, from... Why was it, what was I getting back from? I don't remember. But I saw that there was a tampon in Shane's car. And I was like, mm? uh, I don't wear tampons anymore since I... A stored one in me for entirely too long <laughs> so whose Who's tampon is this and then i remembered i had my sister's diaper bag in the car oh and so it so probably fell out probably that's the story we're going with yeah that would be so I'm sorry that was my phone did it fall this way yes i thought my phone fell backwards and i was like no no because <laughs> uh, we couldn't move the couch yeah. um can you imagine if he was cheating? And he, it's like that's how you that's found, how out, found another out another woman's tampon. <laughs> I would be furious. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Whose is this? She's a super. <laughs> <laughs> is that you are doing? <laughs> <laughs> we know that like that's not how that works. Well, this and just it's just got a heavy flow. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Can I have it? We have so much in common. Is that what you like about her? Yeah. How she menstruates just like me. <laughs> oh my God. I bet you wouldn't forget. <laughs> oh, do you buy these for her too? <laughs> he's really imagine? he's really great about that. When I was when I was uh using them. That's what I loved about Corey too. Like as a nurse, the nothing could sh- nothing was going to shock that man yeah. ever. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> like, Not a he bit. was always like seen worse <laughs> heard worse <laughs> seen worse okay I'm like love that great well um what else i feel like there was more i was going to tell you but i i just can't remember because again this week has been so it's been a lot crazy mm-hmm. and i have been resting because everybody that was the other thing that was happening i was getting a lot of people yelling at me for not <laughs> resting they were like and this bitch showed up to work with yeah. all this and i was like i'll be honest i felt better that day besides the pain from the but yeah. the pneumonia like it was going away at that point you mm-hmm. know what i mean so um and sometimes i feel like this part of the job isn't no, the taxing is the, part it's of the, the job. shit that goes through the week yes which is why i was gonna say I did take a bit of a break ski. So you yeah. had a good idea, but I went through. You did. So- you're doing something different. No, no, no. You're I'm surprising doing, me. I, I am doing oh, what okay. you did. I just didn't read some of them. Okay. So okay. I thought we could do it together. Okay. So <laughs> Jerry came up with this idea and I loved it um, where we could talk about. Because, you know, uh, uh, we like to just pick things that like we've heard. Yeah. We don't really know that much about. People talk about them a lot, like say them to your face and and you nod because you're like, absolutely, I understand what you're talking about. And so one of those things for us was the word cryptids. Yes. We were like, "Mm -hmm." mm-hmm. I listen to podcasts. Totally. Um, I like Christine and M on That's Why We Drink. 
they talk about cryptids. Um, Corinne and Sabrina. Corinne and Sabrina from Two Girls, One Ghost. They talk about cryptids. Yep. And for the longest time, I was like thinking they were some kind of category. <laughs> and I guess they are. A little bit. But like I didn't know what it was. I thought it was separate yeah. from like the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot and things like that. But it's not. It's a category. It's, like of, it's an umbrella it. term. Yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Yes. And so there is a big list of them. And so we're just going to go through. I did go through and like highlight a couple that sounded interesting. And those okay. are the ones we're going to read through. Fun, fun. If you would like. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> ha- a bit of Halloween fun for you. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick definition of what cryptids are. Okay. So cryptids are animals that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild, but are not believed to exist by mainstream science. Cryptozoologists. Yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Apparently. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Cryptozoology is a pseudoscience, which primarily looks at anecdotal stories and other claims rejected by the scientific community. While biologists regularly identify new species following established scientific methodology, cryptozoologists focus on entities mentioned in the folklore record and rumor. Which I kind of love. Me too. Because it's like... You gotta have a little bit of both, I think. Well, I I feel like that what would make those not as credible i mean i get it like seeing it with your own eye and being able to study it (laughs) is pretty credible but But we've seen let me tell you since tiktok like i've seen videos that people have of like merfolk and i'm like (laughs) that's a fucking mermaid like that is what else would it be i just mean that like if we're telling folklore and we're on different continents Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're talking about the same thing yeah how it's got to be something yeah you know but a lot of these are specific to a certain Area. area yeah like right. the Loch Ness Monster do you know where that originated from or where it is in Lake Loch Ness <laughs> it, you're right is it yeah in Scotland Scotland <laughs> Nessie <laughs> yes so it isn't I think it's called the the lake hold on it's definitely not Lake hold on. Loch Ness, lake Loch Ness. <laughs> well so okay there's a bunch of different there's jumping ahead jumping ahead i you know, i was jumping ahead oh no 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 yeah 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 but it's fine it's fine we're okay. all gonna arrive at the same point eventually <laughs> okay um so there's a list of like like categories mm-hmm. so we have which i didn't know until you mentioned it to me so we've got i didn't know it either until i was like i wonder if this is like googleable information that we could use yeah aquatic and semi-aquatic so mm-hmm. like the loch ness monster then you have terrestrial which doesn't include aliens I know. But they are like But more, they're extraterrestrial. Yeah, they're they're like <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're right though. You're right. These are like like this one just says large dog. <laughs> and I'm like, but that's in England, so maybe they don't have those there. Large These are dogs? more like you know. Does it have a different name? Bar bar guest. Okay. Bar bar guest. <laughs> it looks like bar guest. <laughs> Bar guest. That's what I. Hey, there's a from- large dog at the end of the bar. <laughs> He's like tapping. Excuse me. Can I get some fucking service? Oh, he might. I pictured an ugly woman. That's fucked up. I know it is fucked up. That's a patriarchy talking. But they call women birds, and I'm just assuming they get like fucking pieces of shit. They're like call them dogs. Big dog at the end because we're like that's a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. See, I wasn't yeah. far off. No, you're not. But yeah, that that's the patriarchy and f- down with it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who let the and dogs out? <laughs> so a lot of these are like um, hominids, mammal-like, human-like, ape-like creatures. Yes. And then we have winged creatures. <laughs> yes. Like the Mothman. That's which my we're least talk favorite about. category. I don't like wings. <laughs> I Luckily, don't like that's the shortest thing. category. I don't care. But one of them is in Ohio. I know. Mothman, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mothman. <laughs> oh my God. I'm the fucking Mothman. <laughs> I, I have to picture it that way because if not, I'll be very scared. Well, I think they said it was like, they kind of debunked it. Sort of. But they think How it's like you- a large crane bird, which I don't feel like is better. Definitely not better. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking Daily Mail's going to get a hold of this and be like, two people from Ohio <laughs> think that Mothman is real. <laughs> two women from Ohio terrified of giant moth person turns out crane. <laughs> 
And it's not even a bird crane. It's like a, a motorized crane that like <laughs> changes really high light bulbs. <laughs> or lifts stuff really high. I don't know machinery. You know like, how machines do? <laughs> yeah, machines just be doing. You know, they, they just, just be doing. They just be lifting. <laughs> That's just like, okay, I like give so much credit to journalism and journalists. <laughs> and I know that person was just doing their job. And I was like, God damn, you're giving, <laughs> like, you're the reason that people that are like. That is a narrative you're telling. That is clickbaity as fuck. Yeah. You're really spinning a story. Mm-hmm. And you had a video. And then you had an extra long video that you could have <laughs> gone back for reference. But you just surfed on my Instagram page <laughs> instead. Like, you could have been doing some oh. background and realized maybe. Methinks it was just a joke. Yeah, methinks maybe it wasn't that serious. Yeah. So I almost posted about it, but then I was so embarrassed. <laughs> no, well, I wondered. I was like, I wonder if she's going to put this on. No, here. I was fucking so embarrassed. <laughs> if you want to go look at it. You can. <laughs> but I will tell you, because after I read those comments and, and I was embarrassed, I called Jerry. I'm like having a meltdown. <laughs> and then I went to Family Dollar as one does for toilet paper because I'm a normal person who wipes my ass. <laughs> my colon's still there. <laughs> one square at a time. <laughs> Just like everyone else. <laughs> With, you know, the rest of their organs. You're a two-ply kind of bitch though, right? Yo, I like a Charmin Ultra Soft on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very good. <laughs> you know <laughs> no no advertisements but yeah. like not sponsored it is but... superior <laughs> uh but as i was going in i had somebody who stopped well first of all it was jarring because i thought i knew I, her i was on the phone with you <laughs> i heard it happen and i was like oh my god this bitch instantly <laughs> well i i'm staring at her first of all if you're listening you you pretty girl <laughs> like, i looked at you and i was like oh she's cute and then <laughs> She was looking at me in a certain way, and I was like, "Uh oh!" Because she again, wants to fight you. You, you know me. Yeah, I was like, "She's making fun of me." She's like, <laughs> "We gotta clean your filter." Me. I know. And she looked at me, and she was like, "My favorite person ever." <laughs> and again, I thought she was making you're fun like, of me. Kiss me already, <laughs> <laughs> French <Friendry. laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, but I was like. <laughs> I thought again that she was fucking with me because I was like, I'm sorry I was staring. I think you're pretty. <laughs> Take a picture to last longer. <laughs> and I was like, I am. And she goes, ladies and tangents. And I was like, oh, you're safe. You're safe. <laughs> this is a good one. We're okay. But I was like, oh my God, hi. And then she said like, my, me, my six-year-old loves your laugh. Aww. We listen to you because she loves to hear you laugh. And then I read those terrible comments. But let me tell you, because in that moment of reading the terrible comments, I was like, God, this is why I like I don't want to be in the public eye. I fucking hate this shit. Yeah. This is shit that's embarrassing to me. Like I want to crawl in my bed. But that interaction made me like, you know what? Maybe I am a big dumb idiot. <laughs> but I am somebody's reason to laugh. Yeah. And maybe they're laughing at me. <laughs> And not with me. And that's okay. But guess what you're doing? You're writing shitty things about people you don't yeah. know on the internet. You weird ass bitch. So yeah. like, which one of us is winning? Yeah. You feel better? A little bit. Okay, yeah. good. So anyways, <laughs> let's talk about Bigfoot. <laughs> that's the person who wrote that mean comment. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> dumb Bigfooted bitch. No, but I just wanted to say that thank you to that person because that made me... Um, yeah. Happy when when oh, I was you don't feeling like me down. Well, I'm, I, six year olds think I'm funny. So <laughs> six year olds think I'm cool. So sit on that. Yeah, spin around. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. All right. What's like? My t- name's Phil. And I was like, don't care. Doesn't give a sit fuck. on it, Phil. <laughs> Fill yourself up with this. <laughs> Not fill yourself. Are <laughs> right, you want to talk about Ireland? How, that wasn't a good accent. <laughs> Her, let me, let me cut that out. Let's do this again. You want to talk about Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving it in. Fuck me. I'm leaving it in. I've how just been watching. How do you do Ireland? Ireland? No. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I'm trying to think of uh, Maura. Oh. You know. Oh. Oh. It's going to be loads of willies. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be loads of willies. Yeah. Ireland. There we go. Ireland. I fucking you did it. You did <laughs> Tings. Yes. You did the ting. I did the ting. <laughs> I really wanted to talk about this one. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. That's for sure. Okay. But its description is extra large otter-like carnivorous aquatic oh. animal. 
what it's called it's like if valcor was in the water <laughs> never ending story first of all look at how they told me to print uh, look at how they told me to pronounce it look at the <gasps> irish pronunciation first of all that's terrifying Isn't where's it? the irish pronunciation look at the very like what mm-hmm. <laughs> what in so i'm sorry i'm not gonna pronounce this correctly um ireland give me a fucking break i yeah it's a little bit difficult why do you have upside down cancer ribbons I, as a part <laughs> of your pronunciation <laughs> what? oh that's the other part of the comments in the viral tiktok we got it was like a lot of people telling me I'm, i probably have cancer so like thank you but also i didn't need to know that. yeah maybe don't terrify we her don't more. need that yeah what the hell so I'm gonna say it how I think it's <laughs> Dober Chew <laughs> Dob Hair Chew. I'm oh, so sorry. There's gonna be loads of Dober Chew. <laughs> Dober Chew? Oh wait, or they call him King Otter, which I like. King Otter. <laughs> King Otter. King Otter. 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 I fucking suck at an Irish accent. It's <laughs> difficult. I know you'd think with this red hair it'd come natural. <laughs> Turns out no. Um, it rec- it resembles both a dog and an otter, but sometimes it l- is described as half dog, half fish. Okay. Interesting. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a dogfish if you've ever seen one. <laughs> Truly. All right. So the legend has it. Her name. Her? Was supposedly Grace McGoolin. <laughs> McGoylin. <laughs> Grace McGoylin. Oh, Grace McGoylin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Her husband <gasps> supposedly heard her scream. Who is this person? Wait. Is this, the, is this a person or a dog? I'm sorry. This is the person who apparently got attacked. Oh, Grace, I'm sorry. I thought you oh. were the otter. <laughs> I really apologize. Goddamn, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> apparently she, ki- she got killed. By the otter? But it was in the 17th century. So that's why we all don't, we don't know. Okay, there's no pictures. No. (laughs) There's no cell phones. (laughs) Oh, so you you tell me they weren't (laughs) FaceTiming? They weren't Instagramming live in this shit? Okay. So, also, do you think we should put pictures up? Maybe on our Instagram? Oh, for sure. Like a slideshow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that'll be fun. I'll make sure I screenshot these. I thought you were going to ask me to put it in the video, and I'm like, I said I was going to put the bear video in and totally forgot. (laughs) No, we'll just put it. So if you're listening right now, we'll put it on Instagram. Go look for the Instagram. And the bear video is on Instagram, a portion of it. Yeah. (laughs) In a TikTok. What is it? What did you say? Just eating away. Just eating away, (laughs) dude. (laughs) Okay, so. Chowing down. (laughs) All right, so apparently. The person who got attacked was Grace. Mm -hmm. Her husband supposedly heard her scream as he was washing clothes and came down to her aid. When he got there, she was already dead with the king otter upon her bloody and mutilated body. The man killed the king otter, stabbing it in the heart. As it died, it made a whistling noise and its mate arose from the low... (laughs) I don't know what that means, but I'm a guess. What? I'm a guess. Leak. Its mate chased the man, but after a long and bloody battle, he killed it as well. That's what the legend. That's the legend folklore. says he killed both of them. Both of them. And his. Mm, me thinks you killed your wife, friend. <laughs> oh my god! Right? <gasps> that's his fucking story, and you're sticking to it. And now it's in Wikipedia. He's like, uh, uh-uh, look, no, I'm verified. It's online. on her tombstone. They drew a picture of it and put it on her tombstone. They drew a picture of the thing that allegedly killed her and put it on her tombstone. It says the stone is claimed to be the headstone of a grave of a woman killed in the 17th century. The mo- the monument shows a recumbent animal having body and legs like those of a dog with the characteristic depth of rib and strength of thigh. The tail, long and curved, shows a definite tuft to the rear of the haunch and still more the tail are an exceptionally low relief. I hear saying words and my brain is not catching them. (laughs) This is not a bit. Apparently due to the loss of a thin flake from the face of the slab. What is that description? (laughs) What the fuck are you talking about? Is my screen back there moving? It's definitely moving. Yeah. Is it not changing? Uh, No, it's probably a screensaver. I've just never seen it before. And I thought my my eyes were playing tricks on me. Nope. That is because my brain was trying to focus on anything but the words you were saying. (laughs) Anyway, but anyway, they just they basically they have it on her tomb, 
But what? I'm assuming the only person is her husband's word. And that's kind of fucky. That makes right? me think like you killed your wife and you're like, no, dude, this giant dog. If fish. I killed her, why is that dogfish <laughs> on her headstone? And But nobody saw the, the thing the after The defense he- rests. <laughs> There was two Your of them. Honor. How do you explain that? I killed them both. Where and are now they the, now? Mm. I buried them with her. <laughs> like what? Obviously. That's. Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's do. What's next? What's next? There. Let's do. Let's just do the Loch Ness Monster. Okay. Nancy. So Scottish Gaelic. I'm Hold not on. reading that. <laughs> Affectionately known as Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster is a creature. (laughs) Sweet creature. Yeah. In Scottish folklore that is said to inhabit Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. Okay. Yeah. It's often described as a large, long-necked... No, just large and long-necked, not a large, (laughs) long-necked. Same. (laughs) They come in. There's a large, (laughs) long-neck. She's got one or more humps protruding <laughs> from the water. Yes, she My do. lovely lady lumps. <laughs> Check them out. <laughs> um, popular interest and belief in the creature has varied since it was brought to worldwide <laughs> attention in saying. 1933. <laughs> I thought you were saying popular interest. Like you were going to tell me Nessie's interest. <laughs> like you were reading me her <laughs> Tinder bio. She likes long walks in the lake. <laughs> it's scaring the fucking fuck out of people. <laughs> All right. Do you believe in Loch Ness? Yeah, there's Nessie? so many sightings. I believe in it. Here's the, no- but there I is. I feel like it's got to be some kind of a dinosaur. You well, know that, that sharks have been around since the e- dinosaur age? Megalodon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking yes. <laughs> what else? There's something, there's another creature. Chickens? <laughs> no. They not evolved in that from form. dinosaurs. No, but since dinosaurs, sharks have not evolved <gasps> in the way that like yeah, other you animals have. Yeah, fucking sharks. <laughs> you can't evolve, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love sharks so much. Stop killing them. I was going to say, they're That's not listening to you right now. Sh- sharks, <laughs> listen, I love you. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Whole shark community. <laughs> Guys, shunned us. Big fan. <laughs> big fan of your fucking teeth. Big fan, big fin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I always say. Big okay, fan, big fan. That's probably the way. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, a lot of people think that they could be other animals. Okay, so birds. What they think that it's birds that people are seeing? Um, bird wakes. I don't know what the fuck a wake is. Well, that's when someone dies, <laughs> and, and you go and you just nod at everyone the, who's in line the, standing next to the <laughs> casket, and you just give them a hug, and everyone's like, Sad. "How long do we have to be here?" Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> and everyone keeps passing the gray person in, in the <laughs> casket. Oh my god! And they're just like, <gasps> she "Oh my like, god!" What? Were I, I was at a place awake? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it reminded me of one. Oh no! Because everyone there was at the age where they were like. <gasps> Guess who died? <laughs> Guess who died? Can I tell Bud you? Died. Oh and no! I was like, oh no, <laughs> not again. Yeah, they're like, what? did you hear about Jeff as well? They're all dead. <laughs> I'm like, this is casual brunch conversation. <laughs> did I tell you? I don't know if I told you on here. Someone died? Uh, no, about my grandparents and their reunion. Did I tell you? <laughs> no, I okay, are you ready, everyone? I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this story, but I think it's very funny. <laughs> And really mean. So my grandparents are old, right? They're they're going. So they were planning their sixtieth year reunion. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, sixty years that they've been out of high school. So they're planning it, and apparently they planned it at this venue. Well, fuck these people because these people called them up and was like, "Actually, a wedding wants to book, so you can't." <gasps> yeah, there's like, gonna be six of you anyway, <laughs> like weeks before. Okay, so the only place they could get it at that would do it was a funeral <laughs> is that not the worst thing you ever heard did they do it yeah a bunch of almost 80 year olds <laughs> yes had their high school reunion at a funeral <laughs> was a guy. did they have a nice time I think so <laughs> And, and they it wasn't even in the, like it wasn't even in the city that they they went to high school in. It was in the the rival city. What did 
what did those goodie bags look like? <laughs> I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. But I was like, I didn't know that they hosted other functions, to be fair. Me neither. But that is, I was like, Grandma. <laughs> Who's in charge of that? Who's the sick bastard in charge of that? And also, that seems like some shit you and I would do. Oh, 100%. 100%. What up, motherfuckers? Take a good look around. You're going to be seeing it again soon. Oh, oh that's morbid. Hey, okay. move yourself through the gift shop when you're done. <laughs> On your way out. Take yourself out something pretty for your children to put you in. Oh, my God. <laughs> so terrible yeah. i was like this is horrible i but love that i couldn't stop la- i was just like this is some shit you would see on the show like did the they office play music? or something i don't know i don't know i wasn't there <laughs> was there dancing they like, told me about it before food? so i don't know how it was after i'll have to ask them how, how it all turned oh my out god i love that yeah okay so it could be eels which makes sense we're talking about the Ness. Ness monster it could be eels, eels but it's big multiple right? All they together. all stack on top of each other like kids trying to get into a movie. Like They're having an orgy. chips on top of Eel each other. orgy. Do you ever just Eel think about G. eels fucking? No. Well, take a second. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Matter of fact. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> um, do they have... What do their sexual organs look like? Great question. Do you want are me they to like Google snails? It? Do they have both? Do oh, they get to choose? Great question. Are they like sharks? The shark hussy? As my sister was so intrigued by. <laughs> I don't I know. Not. Could be an elephant. An, Are there elephants ele- in Scotland? An elephant? A singular elephant that's aquatic? Could be. Because they believe the, the surgeon's photograph, which was the most like yes. notable Loch Ness, it, the, the lump was the top of the head and then it's a trunk that comes out. Why is there a... Uh, hey, Scottish I don't buy that. people... You guys got elephants there a lot? Yeah. What the fuck is that about? Oh, they suggested that traveling circuses might have allowed ele- elephants to bathe in the lock. The trunk could be perceived to... Ga- okay, okay, okay. I don't buy it. First could one... Be- first one... <laughs> we both <pointed> uh, <laughs> first one, I think... You're right. Guy murdered his wife came up with a really fucking bizarre story for it. That Oh, I was like, that's not Loch Ness. But yeah, you're Second thinking- one, Loch Ness. You think it's real? Nessie's real. Okay, okay. They think it could be the Greenland shark as well, um, a catfish, or a tree. <laughs> Fair enough. Who's All right, making moving these on. guesses? A kindergarten class? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I think maybe it could be a vacuum. Could be a tree. <laughs> sure, I guess we'll write that down. <laughs> Thank you. Now, this guy's one of my favorites. Okay. And it's Ohio folklore. Which is why it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about the Loveland Frog. Oh Look at God. that motherfucker. <laughs> I love the Loveland Frog. Look at him. I love him. The Loveland Frog. He looks like that one that stars in all the books. <laughs> that where there's, They live in little they have mushroom like, houses. He's got like tea parties and yeah, shit he goes he's to. he's got like a cane. Yes. Oh, I love yeah. that fucking frog. So the Loveland Frog is a legendary humanoid frog standing roughly four feet tall oh my god horrifying could you uh, imagine it knocking on your door being like pardon me <laughs> I, oh, like I need some sugar for my tea, tea party <laughs> you're just like get the fuck get the fuck out of here i love a frog but when they're small i don't you want, don't want a, big a four frog. foot frog fuck i don't want anything smaller <laughs> than a four <laughs> foot frog <laughs> larger okay i go out and it's in my hot tub <laughs> and it's like chilling <laughs> God, that'd be so fucking It's funny. the perfect size for him. Sitting like Teddy. He has like tea spread. in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's making himself frog like soup. <gasps> He's like, today I'm the tea. <laughs> the tea's <laughs> having me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so allegedly he was spotted in Loveland, Ohio, which I didn't know was a place. Nope. Loveland. Land of the love. Oh, and, and the lay. Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck frogs around here. They're people size, so it's fine. People size, four. F- oh, I guess people are I was four. Like, foot. Yeah. How are you joking? My people are five feet or higher. No one's smaller. Well, Children I- are born. <laughs> no, but there are also adults who are four foot. There are, but <laughs> there are also frogs. There are also four foot frogs. Okay, so this happened in 1972. 
So people there were really fucking high and probably on acid. 1972? That's like pretty recent compared <laughs> to like the 17th century. Right? Okay, well, so this is what happened. This is what's scary about it. Because it was spotted, apparently, by a Loveland police officer. And he reported to a colleague that he'd seen the animal. I don't love that you're also then protecting and serving and you're seeing giant frogs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is scary. And it's fine. I guess do your thing. Um, he'd seen an animal consistent with descriptions of a frog man. <laughs> After a reported sighting in 2016. What? So recent. The second officer. Hey, there's wait. cell phones now. Where's that fucking picture? Yeah, and why are these both police officers? Are, is the frog only showing himself? to? He's like, <laughs> excuse me, sir, I need a, it's a flashing <laughs> frog only to police officers. He's like, what? why? The cuffs keep slipping off him. He's got these wet fucking hands. <laughs> he's so fucking slimy. <laughs> and small. No, he's big. He's four no, his, his hands are, are oh. go they gotta be thin. No, he's got They're, small wrists. His wrists are tiny. <laughs> His hands are huge. His They're wet. As fuck. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Yeah, but he can being bitch slapped he can... by a fucking webbed frog, a four foot frog. Oh my god! Damn. Okay, so okay, so this officer then calls the news station to report that he'd shot and killed the same creature some weeks after 1972. Okay, so this is different. But in 2016, it's like, hey, I killed that motherfucker. But apparently. He identified it then as a large iguana that was missing, <laughs> that was missing its tail. <laughs> so you shot a four foot iguana? <laughs> and where was it? Why was it standing? Why is it so big? <laughs> Sir, where is its tail? Hey, hand over the badge. Also, tail or no tail, iguanas don't, there's a very different <laughs> animal. <laughs> they are. They're, they're structured completely different. <laughs> Give me your pants. <laughs> He's like, no big deal. I was just out there doing my duty. <laughs> What'd you do? I killed a huge fucking iguana. You should have seen the size of this motherfucker. He's it all in a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> It's just twitching on the side of the road. Oh my god. That's fucking He puts it over up. his back. <laughs> Guess what we're eating tonight? <laughs> we gotta have a guava, folks. <laughs> oh. Okay. University of Cincinnati folklore professor. Didn't know that was a thing, but I love it. Uh, compared the Loveland frog to Paul Bunyan, saying that stories about it have been passed down for several decades and that sightings reported, sighting reports seem to come in predictable cycles. In May 2014, the Loveland Frog legend was made into a musical titled Hot Damn, It's the Loveland Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio! What represent? <laughs> we are unhinged. <laughs> what a fucking twist of that musical when it's like, I am an iguana. <laughs> I was never a frog. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> It's just Hamilton, but with a police officer and an iguana. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> yes. The slow, the slow bullet. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Do we do any legends? A lizard. <laughs> According to various legends, the creature was first sighted by a businessman or a traveling salesman driving along an unnamed road late Ooh. at night. Have you revealed Loveland it yet? Frog. This oh, is we're still, still talking about the Loveland Frog. <laughs> I just okay. think it's so fucking funny. <laughs> um, late at night, 1955. 1955 is when it started. I feel so, like that's when all cryptids right, are like the at their 50s, peak. Okay, all of the women were on some kind of speed because they were just like being prescribed it like left and right. Yes, and, and the men and nicotine. The men were just like thinking about <laughs> beating people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Being just absolutely fucking terrible. And so they're like, what what can we do? They're like, we're probably safe to come out 
right now because they're not fucking paying attention to shit. And then they're like, join folk. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to believe them. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. If you were alive in 1955, I'm sure you were a nice fucking person. <laughs> <laughs> sure not, honestly. I'm sure you're still unlearning things. There was still some, yeah, yeah. you go back in 1955, you tell me. Yeah. You fucking tell me how nice it was. All right. In one story, the driver was heading out of the Branch Hill neighborhood when he spotted three figures stood erect on their hind legs. <laughs> Oh my god! Three of them? It's, it's a whole family. It's the fucking frog that's like, "Hello, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my ragtime girl." Uh-huh. They're like, "Great musical, write it down." <laughs> and that's how the musical happened. They just performed it, and he was like, "I've got You're going to Broadway, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> I'm a lizard." <laughs> Oh. Okay, okay. Each three to four feet in height with leathery skin and frog faces. <laughs> in other that's, words, that's what someone wrote next to my picture in the school yearbook. <laughs> you leathery, leathery skin, frog, frog faced bitch, dog at the end of a bar looking ass bitch. Oh. In other versions of the story, the creatures were spotted under or over a poorly lit bridge, and one held a wand over its head that <laughs> fired a spray of sparks. <laughs> so they were also wizards. <laughs> 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 Oh god, that's good. Oh, sorry, no, that was Dobby. It's, it's Harry, Ron, and Hermione. It's Harry, Ron, and Frog Mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. Oh, did I tell you, have I said this already, that that's Sawyer's new thing? She, yeah. She mocks me. I'll go, Cory will ask me something fucking stupid. <laughs> and I'll go, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sawyer goes, yeah. <laughs> You're tag teaming him. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, Ooh, this this is not me, not, not Hermione, my... you. <laughs> I'm a lizard. <laughs> I put myself back in the pond again. <laughs> oh. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus Christ, let's see, let's see. <laughs> the orphan. <laughs> I just right. imagine an orphanage full of just frogs being like, what the fuck? And then Harry Potter, he's like, my parents are dead too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk the about... The boy who lived. <laughs> the frog who stood. <laughs> we read again. <laughs> First of all, the reason I added this one... Um, it's Japanese folklore, but I just want you to look at it. <laughs> this is my favorite picture. So when you get to this one, it's after the frog, who's my second favorite picture. This is my favorite one. It looks like a snowball with legs. Almost <laughs> just feet. But also like a dolphin snowball yes. with legs. Yes. <laughs> but with a sad face, he's like, hmm. Oh yeah, he's cold. I'm so cold. My legs are so long for no reason. I wear my arms. <laughs> my balance is difficult. Fucked. Okay, so this was modern Japanese folklore in the mid 2000s. So sometimes I okay. think these people are just fucking making shit up, but I love it. Might as well. So it's the ninjin. And it's an aquatic humanoid whale-like creature supposedly inhabiting the sub-Antarctic oceans. Um, okay, so let's talk about the history. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine it swimming, and it's just like walking on the bottom. <laughs> it's just yes. sad. It's definitely not built to swim. <laughs> no. I'll tell you that. If it was, it would just be like kicking. <laughs> I love it. Like a fucking dog. Have you ever seen dogs when they swim? I think it's so cute. Yeah, but, but only this with one back have- legs. Yeah. So it's just top heavy. It's top is just scraping yeah. the bottom. It's just going in circles. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. The legend surrounding the ninjin. Ninjin? I'm just going to okay. hope that that's right. Began in 2002 on a forum post on the Japanese online forum website 2 Channel, which claims that the members of a whale research ship witnessed the creature as it surfaced near their ship off the Antarctic coast. Did it wave with its feet and just like, <laughs> hello? Yeah. Originally, they thought it was a submarine, and so they went to take a closer look, but the submarine vanished into the waves. Where? How did you see its feet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, in 2005, Google Earth captured what many people suppose to be a ninja near the Southern Ocean. Well, now oh. I need to see that photo. Me too. Where's that? Many ske- <laughs> I hope you can't just hear my burp. <laughs> many skeptics believe that the ninja was actually an iceberg that coincidentally looked like a sea monster. I need to fucking see this. Where, where's the picture? We'll see. In I'm 2010, sweating. I gotta take my sweatshirt off. <laughs> in 2010, a Japanese ocean research company published a YouTube video showing the ocean life that they observed. Near the end of the video, a large creature with small eyes and a large smiling slit-like mouth Ew. Ew. Can we spot it lying on the ocean floor? That is fucking horrifying. Oh, my God. It's slit like mouth just <laughs> on the ocean floor. Nom, 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 nom. Staring up. Though most people think that the infamous ninja was spotted, some people say that it's most likely a snaggletooth snake eel, which was my name in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here comes that old snaggle tooth snake eel again. <laughs> that was, that's a true story. That honestly, people, I gave it to her. People did call me snaggle tooth. That is real. It was my family, mm. not you, but other members. This still cuts deep. Sometime around the 2010s, an unknown user posted underwater footage depicting a large humanoid sea creature, which many believed would be that. Okay, so we got to really look like, this shit up. I don't really like the word humanoid. Humanoid freaks me out. I don't like, yeah, no. Okapongo. <laughs> you got it, bud. Bless you. A lake. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Canada. Okay. Ogo Ogo Pogo. I'm sorry. I put an N in there. There's no N. Ogo Pogo. <laughs> in Canadian folklore, the Ogo Pogo in Canada, <laughs> the Ogo Pogo <laughs> is a lake monster said to inhabit um, Okanagan Lake Okana- in Okanagan. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I can't even see the words. So I don't know why I'm trying to guess. <laughs> Okanagan? It's it's O K A N A G A N. Okanagan. Okay. I don't know. In British Columbia, Canada, <laughs> some scholars have charted the entity's development from First Nations folklore and widespread water monster folklore moti- motifs. The Ogopogo now plays a role in the commercial symbolism and media representation of the region. That's fascinating. That is fascinating. There's there's like a little statue of it. Oh, okay. So it looks like a lake monster again. Well, I'll tell you, Bigfoot is like um, the mascot of Washington State. Yes, it's everywhere. Uh-huh. And Bigfoot's been spotted <clears throat> multiple places, correct? Yes. Okay. Which makes me believe that it, it, there's not just one of them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this is different. Okay, according to historian Mark M. Orkin, the creature received its name on a night in 1924 when the strains of an English music hall song were first heard in the city of Vernon, British Columbia. Orkin cites the following lines from the song. His mother was an earwig. His father was a whale. A little bit of head and hardly any tail. And Ogopogo was his name. Orkin, however, notes that a somewhat different form of the song appeared... Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. It's very bingo was his name Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Very. Um, there was a lake. It had a monster. Oga Pogo. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, go, go. Okay, so. Oga Pogo, go, go. Sounds like a kid's show. It does. Um, okay, so I think this is. So it's more related to native myths. Okay. They described it as an evil supernatural entity with great power and ill intent. Hey. <gasps> I don't like that. I don't like um, that, either. that word has various translations such as water demon, <clears throat> water god, or sacred creature of the water. So those are all they, those all those have very different dairy. connotations. <laughs> yes. In native lore, um, he demanded a live sacrifice for safe crossing of the lake. For hundreds of years, First Nations would sacrifice small animals before entering the water. <gasps> The idea of sacrifices just, I can't even think about it. I saw someone, um, they found a girl who was completely preserved in ice. <gasps> I and saw she that. was a sacrifice. I saw that. Yes. So she was like perfectly intact still. Yeah, I saw that. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Ooh. First sighting in 1872 from a white settler. She was the first non native person to live in the region. So I'm sure that wasn't the first sighting, but that was documented. Right. 
reported colonized <laughs> yes um and then it d- it wasn't spotted again until 1968 while driving on highway 97 art folden noticed something moving in the lake he pulled off the road and filmed what he claimed to be footage of the alleged creature showing a large wake moving across the water a computer analysis of the footage concluded it was a solid three-dimensional object folden noticed something large and lifelike in the distance out in the calm water and pulled out a home movie camera to capture it um, and it was shown on the National Geographic Channel TV show, Is It Real? Ooh. They found that it was most much closer to shore than originally thought, resulting in a reduction of actual speed inside. They concluded that it was likely a real animal, but its size had been greatly overestimated and that it was probably <laughs> either a waterfowl, otter, or beaver too far away to be identified. Still, what if it wasn't? That's fucking creepy. Yeah. Okay, moving along, moving along. And we bet, and we bet, and we bet. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All right, so now we're going to talk about terrestrial. Okay. So these are more like the, the human... The land creatures. Right. We're going to talk about that large dog uh-huh. in Northern England. Talk about that large dong in Northern England. <laughs> <laughs> that is Callum. Callum. <laughs> Callum. In Northern England folklore, the Barguest is a mythical monstrous black dog with large teeth and claws, though in other cases, the name can refer to a ghost or household elf. <laughs> That's very, those are fucking very different. Is so it's Harry a Potter? Sh- it's a shapeshifter. <laughs> oh, it could be. Um, okay, so one notable case is said to frequent a remote gorge called Trawler's Gill in the Yorkshire, Yorkshire Dales. In Yorkshire, England. <laughs> what the fuck? We How would be fuck? absolute uncultured swine in the UK. <laughs> fucking A. No wonder the what? Daily Mail is like these dumb fucking bitches. <laughs> I get it. I love you, but you don't love me back. And I understand now why. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces put together. <laughs> um, okay, so this recounts the tale of a man who ventures forth to the horrid gill of the limestone hill that's right me this is a story all, all about, about how my life got twisted into a bar again <laughs> i was gonna use that rhyme <laughs> the sentence that rhymed at the end of it but <laughs> that's fine <laughs> Please, please continue. Well, now I don't remember it because you threw it My life got just stirred up to the horn gill of the last. <laughs> no, here, give it to me. You know what? Fuck it. You do this. <laughs> Where's the sentence? I don't know. It's in quotations. <laughs> Barguest. I can't what? stop saying that. Look. Where was it in quotations? The in legend the- of the trawler's gill? Yes, down. Down? Oh, there you go. To the horrid gill of the limestone, limestone, limestone. hill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, limestone. This is a story all about how the horrid gill of the limestone hill. <laughs> nope. <laughs> trawler's gill. <laughs> this is a story all about trawler's gill to the horrid gill of the limestone hill. <laughs> Still bad. <laughs> Fuck it, you do it then. <laughs> no, I can't. It can't be done. We just rap battle back and forth <laughs> the rest of the episode. Oh my God, can I tell you? I was shaving the other day okay. and I really, I'm in the season of only shaving like a, a little bit. Love it. Every now and then. When I tell you I had to peel a chunk of skin out of my razor, look at that. Ah! I got myself good on my knee. Ah! I just felt it. It was... <clears throat> made me sick. Painful. <laughs> Ah, sick. I'm sick. Okay, so anyways, so he's got to go to this horrid gill of the limestone hill in order to summon and confront the bar guest in an act of ritual magic. The man's lifeless body is discovered soon after with inhuman marks upon his breast. Oh. Scary. (laughs) In the 1870s, a shape's shifting. You're right. uh, Bar guest was said to live near Darlington. Okay. Darlington. <laughs> Darlington. And was said to take Darlington. The- <laughs> <laughs> That's how someone would say it. That's like Tomater. Tomater. <laughs> Basically, if Larry the Cable Guy was reading it. <laughs> Down, Darlington. <laughs> um, this was said to take the form of a headless man who would vanish in flames. A headless lady, a white cat, a rabbit, a dog, or a black a black dog. A whiskey okay. drink? A cider drink. <laughs> I'll take a headless lady. I'll take a headless man. Um, White rabbit. Okay, I'm done with this. this is oh, Alice in Wonderland. It, yeah. White rabbit. 
It also often serves as an omen of death. Oh. That reminds me of the Harry Potter thing. They see the black dog and the tea leaves and she's like, oh yeah. Oh my God, that's a fucking grim. You're going to fucking die. <laughs> <You're laughs> I f- fucking believe this. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> but it's like close to that. Be careful. The Daily Mail is going to quote you. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking said this. And th- yeah. God damn. All right, okay. girl gets death omen in tea leaves. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're quoting Harry Potter. Girl misquotes Harry Potter. <laughs> gets told she's gonna die. <laughs> okay, do you want to talk about Bigfoot now? Yep. Let's talk about him. It's gonna be too much, so we're just gonna do really quick, just okay. really quick. Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch, <laughs> Sasquatch, Sas- Sasquatch. <laughs> Is a quatch? <laughs> you call sasses quatch or what? <laughs> Sasquatch. Yes, is an okay. ape-like creature said to inhabit the forests of North America. Many dubious articles have <laughs> <laughs> many dubious articles. <laughs> hey, we do be articling. <laughs> have been offered in attempts to provide the existence of Bigfoot, including anecdotal <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> to, to prove the existence of this big puss <laughs> <laughs> meow <laughs> oh there's nothing funnier to me than when like <laughs> Nicki Minaj <laughs> or someone in, like rap talks about their big kitty <laughs> it's fucking hilarious oh. to me but also i like i'll sing along and be like yeah mufasa on this big kitty or whatever the fuck she says. <laughs> well, i know my ass would be listening to that being like is she riding a line oh that's what she says she says big fat pussy mufasa <laughs> is that right big fat kitty <laughs> no i think it's big fat pussy <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> i feel i have to look at it <laughs> I would not describe mine big fat pussy. Mufasa. I would describe mine as like an Arby's Euro. <laughs> big fat roast piece. Arby's. Yes. Oh, I like mine as it's like, because it's a good value. If you know what I'm saying. That pussy cheap. Affordable. <laughs> she- it has the meat. <laughs> oh, minus tomato. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I have to breathe. Okay, 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 okay. As well as... We still talking about Big Puss? <laughs> I was going to look it up, but I, I just trust myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good dollar. Ha. Is that in Swala? Maybe that's his swala. Swala la la. That's it. Look, I gotta look that's it up. That's Jason Derulo. <laughs> but she's in that song. Is she? Yeah. She's this big fat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. Cut this part out. Cut it out. Okay. I'm just typing in big fat pussy. <laughs> that's not gonna be weird later oh it's freak that's right that's right it's freak um big fat pussy (laughs) yeah (laughs) freaks by french montana and Nicki minaj (laughs) well i am so happy we went on that journey (sighs) sorry everyone anyway this is what my brain does like we said before because i oh that one thing that i was talking about was from the song girl fight from forever the fuck ago when i said I mean, her titty's pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my... I just have, like, stored fucking lyrics yes. of rap songs. And when I'll hear something, I have to throw it out. And people are like, what is that? I'm like, don't know. Don't <laughs> even know where it came from. <laughs> yeah. It's just in there. And- Didn't realize I said it. Sorry. All right. Okay. So there's claims of visual observations, as well as alleged video and audio recordings, photographs, casts of large footprints. Some are known or admitted hoaxes. Do you remember when there was, like they found Bigfoot and it was dead and he was in like a freezer and they took pictures of it and it ended up being somebody bought like a fucking big costume and like dressed up as it but like did they die? No. Oh they just they just like got into a cooler hid the freezing costume. freezer no it was like they did it alleged like to be a hoax 
So they so like go viral. Okay, so he didn't stay in the cooler. No, no <laughs> they I didn't don't find think. him in the cooler. Yeah, I don't believe. Do you remember so. our dads used to do that? They would. I don't know if get it was, in a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a a big food. Big, big food. food. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the big food. Eh, big That's food. Like big food eh? Um, no, I. I don't know if it was a Bigfoot costume or if it was a gorilla costume, mm. but our uncle, my dad, and your dad, I think, all took turns wearing it and like yeah, scaring the shit the out of people. Fuck? That was weird, <laughs> weird time. All right, Bigfoot is an icon within the fringe subculture of crypto cryptozoology and an enduring element of popular culture. The majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted the existence of Bigfoot, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore, misidentification, and hoax rather than a living animal. <clears throat> Sorry. A cultural increase in environmental concerns and overall societal awareness of the subject have been cited as additional factors of why this is such a big phenomenon. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Why this is so phenomenal. Also, I love that Only they call second him... to the frog musical. <laughs> <laughs> ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba. Yeah. I love that they call him Skunk Ape. <laughs> Did you what? know that's another? No. Uh, so, oh wait, that's a different creature, but it's close to the okay. same. So it's kind of like the Yeti, Skunk Ape, you know, those okay. are big fit, Bigfoot-esque. Okay. All right, Jersey Devil. Let's do wings real quick. Sorry I didn't do too many terrestrial, but, you know, you get it. Yeah. Um, in South Jersey and Philadelphia. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is where it's at. We're in Philadelphia, South Jersey. The Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to inhabit the forest of Pine Barrens in South Jersey. The creature is often described as a flying biped with hooves. With hooves? But, uh, mm -mm. but it also is commonly described as that of a biped petal kangaroo like creature with a horse or goat head leathery bat wings horns small arms <laughs> with clawed hands legs with cloven hooves and a forked tail <laughs> what the actual fuck that look at it that sounds like someone just whatever was left over they were just like yeah put that on there put yep. it on there why does it have who you know what Oh my God, it's been reported to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high pitched, blood curling scream. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> that's terrifying. That's so scary. Origin like the other of the ones legend. are just like they're existing in the wild. That screaming and running fast. No, that's no. so scary. Okay, so there's a big origin. Um, we're not going to talk about it because we're running out of time, but th I just wanted to give you the description. Look into it yourself yeah. if you fucking want to. <laughs> if you fucking dare. <laughs> if you dare. Spooky. Spooky season. Are you scared? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about the Mothman. That'll be our last one because this was West Virginian. And Wait, tell me a, a sighting of the Jersey Devil. Just like one. All right. Okay, fine. fine that was fine. faster than I thought. I know. You're right. Okay, okay. You're right. Okay, I said already, you're right. <laughs> Reported sightings. There have been many claims and sightings and, uh, and occurrences involving the Jersey Devil, according to legend, while visiting the Hanover Mill Works to inspect his cannonballs being forged. Um, Commodore Stephen Decatur Smith. <laughs> yes, sighted a flying creature and fired a cannonball directly upon <laughs> <it>. <laughs> to no effect. Not today. It just catches Boom. it in its tiny hands and throws it back. <laughs> Catch, bitch. Yeah. Knocks it away with its hooves. With, hits it with its fork tail. <laughs> um, Baseball. Jason, uh, sorry, Joseph Bonaparte, elder brother of Napoleon, <gasps> is also claimed to have seen the Jersey Dezel. Dezel. <laughs> his Dezel. <laughs> his little Dezel. <laughs> While hunting on his Bordentown estate. It wasn't Napoleon Bonaparte in like French, France? <laughs> wasn't he in French? <laughs> what the fuck is his brother doing in Jersey? <laughs> Colonizing? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. That makes sense. Um... So that was in 1820. <laughs> you are correct. During 1840, the Jersey Devil was blamed for several livestock killings. Similar attacks were reported during 1841, accompanied by tracks and screams. 
Ew. I know. On July 27, 1937, an unknown animal with red eyes seen by residents of Downing, Downington, Downington, Pennsylvania, was compared to the Jersey Devil by a reporter um, in 1951. And you know what? Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Okay. Mothman? Yep. God, there's, yeah, there's a lot of sightings. That's, so I, many that people one, have seen that fucking thing. That one, yes or no, does it exist? I, I haven't done that for all of them, but yes or no, do you think it exists? <laughs> no. That seems like a lot. The That's, Jersey Devil? No. Then what's everyone seeing? You fucking tell me with I that goat wanna. head hoof. Did you just say that I have a goat head? <laughs> you tell me, big head. You goat headed bitch. <laughs> goat headed. Eel. Oh. Wait, what was it? Long neck. <laughs> you goat headed. Snaggle Snaggletooth. <laughs> dog at the end of the bar <laughs> ass bitch. <laughs> this is just how to make an insult. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the Mothman was West Virginia and like Ohio, like at that border. Mm -hmm. Folklore. Um, he was reportedly seen in the Point Pleasant area from November 15th, 1966 to December 15th, 1967. Now, do you know about the whole Mothman Prophecies thing? No. Should we just do a whole episode on that? Yes, we okay. should, because it's good. So we're going to end it now. <laughs> because so there's we want to hear about the Mothman Prophecies, and it could be a bit of a true crime as well, okay. because there is something that happens after that. Yikes. Or that it, like, so don't look into it. We could do it next week. That'd be fun. Yeah. And I'll watch the film starring Richard Gere. <laughs> I love Richard Gere. Dude, Richard Gere could get <laughs> it. He, could, he has it. He has it. I'm just waiting for him to pick it up. I want it. <laughs> that yeah. silver fox. He's been a silver fox for like 40 years. I know it. And like that leather skinned, <laughs> bipedded, <laughs> hoof having motherfucker. Gold headed ass. <laughs> Silver Devil, <laughs> Silver <laughs> Jersey Devil. Oh, that Silver Devil can get this big put if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> big fat pussy, Mufasa. <laughs> okay, that's gross. I'm anyway. sorry, Grandma. <laughs> um, this is how I feel. Everyone listening is looking at us. It's like this Nick Miller painting. That was the other thing that we got. So many people that were so in. Like there was uh, categories of comments uh -huh. that were all kind of the same. Oh my god! Also, the amount of people who thought I was going to end the story saying oh, my shit. appendix was in my lung <laughs> was. <laughs> fucking hilarious <laughs> that that's what the spot was <laughs> yes. oh. but yeah there was a lot of people that were fans of nick miller so there he oh, is yeah. he's part of the fam hell yeah if you're new here <laughs> what do you think welcome <laughs> don't listen to the daily mail i'm i'm funny i'm not <laughs> stupid <laughs> well i'm funny and stupid <laughs> i'm stupid funny yeah. i'm dumb funny <laughs> fucking dumb funny <laughs> and also i repeat shit that my co host <laughs> Yeah, because I'm not original. <laughs> That's the one thing I know. If there's one thing I can tell about me, <laughs> I'll tell you for free that I'm fucking not original at all. No. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll be back next week with the Mothman Prophecies, as we just decided. Yep. Live, right here. You heard it first. New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Um. We, anyway, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you next week. All right, we're out. Goodbye. Bye.